from beautiful downtown Los Angeles, from MacArthur Park, Hepatitis District. The Dynasty typewriter, Harmon Town, is once again in session. <laughs> For your delectation and delight, let's bring out the Game Master and our good friend, Spencer Crittenden. Be he from heaven, be he from hell, that damn elusive Pimpernel. Let's welcome the mayor of Harmon Town, Dan Harmon. Yep, yep. MLK, MLK Day, don't go away, it's a great day, honoring a man that made lots of hay while the sun shone, even though it didn't. Okay. Yeah. We got a lot, I mean, it's, I got a lot of balls opening with some rest rapping. in but, peace. I don't know if you can see, there's a little soundboard and a laptop behind me, but we're probably going to be doing some a fair share oh, yeah. of, there, of hipping and hopping tonight. There's going to be a lot of show tonight. It's MLK Day. It's uh, oh, Steve Levy's coming, bearing gifts. Oh yeah. Oh. He's got the alcohol ice bucket. Yeah. We honor a man today uh, that uh, whose Wikipedia page is probably crippled uh, uh, for 24 hours. Uh, I know I was all over it in the green room so that I could learn the following. Um, <laughs> really I, I, interesting stuff. I mean, I, I, I like some, some, some tidbits that I, I didn't know. He invented the typewriter. <laughs> He was, he was, he was, he was, uh, he was, de- he had, he suffered from depression when he was a kid. There's stories about, you know, that having causes. Obviously that wasn't a big, you know, mental uh, fitness wasn't like a, it wasn't like a, an understood thing back then. I do think it was by the FBI. It's fucking crazy if you knew that I, it's, it's never a good idea uh, for a government to write a letter to a guy saying, we have recordings of you fucking all these women. You should uh, save your, you know, that letter that the FBI wrote to him in his adulthood at the peak of him being targeted by Hoover. What I didn't know is, and what Hoover surely knew when that letter was sent to him is that he tried to jump out a window when he was 12 years old. He did jump out a window, he didn't try. He tried to, tried to kill himself. I, 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 uh, um, and, and you know, his dad, his dad was real hard on him uh, uh, physically, but his dad was you know, kind of an inspiration to him in terms of like his, his, da- his, dad's, his dad's personality being very uncompromising. It was pr- it was, it's a funny thing because here's his, his dad is like, kind of not afraid to take a stick to somebody, but at the same time, probably part and parcel of that persona is also why his dad would do these things like, you know, if somebody called him boy, he would, you know, he's, he, wouldn't, he wouldn't lay down for it. He would confront people or he'd walk out of a store that, that, that asked him to go in the back and things like that. So he's watching these two things, you know, from this, from this mythical father that's like, B- the, b- both the 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 Punisher and the I mean it's like, it's like the, the the devil and God kind of at the same time and it's kind of interesting. Somebody should make a biopic about this guy. Uh, what other what other tidbits did I learn? Uh, his, it was I didn't know that there was that, that he was born his, him and his that his dad changed the 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 names to uh, Martin. Uh, I think for him and his uh, son, after he went in the 30s to Germany, and he was so inspired by the story of Martin Luther, they actually had birth certificates changed. Uh, the uh, their name was their name was their name was King. I don't know if it was, it, 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 but uh, uh, Martin Luther King Jr. was born Michael, and then birth certificate was changed later to Martin, I believe. Wow. Wikipedia, Wikipedia facts about about <laughs> about about a guy. Uh, Tell us. But imagine, the- I, see, it's with, I was like, I was realizing, like, so this guy watched JFK get assassinated, right? So he, like, like, and there's lots of quotes. If you go through the MLK quotes for your Instagram, you know, you're gonna you can see all the. You scroll down, you see like a fair share of of like real Christ-like, like go into the spiritual mattress in terms of like. You, if there's, you know, you, you, unless you're willing to die for something, it d- doesn't matter. Kind of stuff, like, 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 more, more than one quote about that, and kind of, you, you have, you have to know that this guy, like, more than anybody ever, like, he kind of like had to make peace with that idea that I am probably going to get 
uh, I'm very likely to get assassinated. I'm very, like, like, like it's, I mean, the president of the United States died in, you know, like, in, 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 like he watched it happen during this turbulent time, and it's like, okay, so, like, what am, what, what am I gonna hide behind? Uh, I mean, just imagine that, I can't even, did, did uh, who died first, uh, uh, RFK or, or MLK? No, he, no RFK is on second. Did, <laughs> I'm wondering if he also watched uh, Bobby Kennedy get shot and like, I mean. Oh, yeah, I, I, I don't know what ordered Bobby and. and uh, honestly, Martin once the president is just in a motorcade and it's just like kaboom and then you're like, you're a civil rights activist who the FBI is trying to make kill yourself. I mean, you have to be just like, there must be almost maybe the only good news of that is that maybe you get to wake up in the morning and be like, okay, so like get over that or don't. Like, 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 you get, like, if I leave the house today, it's because I got a mission. Because I'm, 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 if if my objective is safety, then I guess I should shut the fuck up and, you know, like hide under a rock, and they'll probably still find me. It just reminds me very much of Gethsemane and and that U2 song. Uh, all right. So, uh, <laughs> anyways, there's a, here's a nothing he, should remind anybody of any U2 song. <laughs> I fucking hate U2. Uh, Why is there U2 on my... I didn't download it. It's on my fucking... I can't, oh, and yeah. I, and, and I don't you, know how to get rid of it. You this can't, guy. It's, just, it's, it's on there like, like a Sharpie written on yeah. your hand. <laughs> you, you, you have to wash it for the rest of your like life. That was like 15 Keep years it going. ago. I know. <laughs> Why, it's still, I, 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 I just turned my music on in my car, and I got the... I'm like, what the fuck did I do to you two? All right, the latest my this fucking thing. So now somebody's... Ever. No, I'm not, I'm not done, Dan. Oh, sorry. No, I, uh, no, I just... Somebody, how do you, somebody, how do you like, hijack my iPad? Somebody's airdropping. Uh, oh no! It's a meme that says two Jews, one brain." Oh no! What does that mean? I don't. I that maybe that maybe that Jews aren't as smart as a whole person, or does it? Is, is it a reference we, to? They're airdropping you. Yeah, the, it's a, you know. What the? What? Is that person course. here? Yeah. Let's bring let's bring them up. Why? Because <laughs> they're anti-Semitic. No, I, I, if you're here, I'm joking. <laughs> Stay the fuck. Oh, it's like I'm sorry. I thought it was. Uh, well, now, now I just promoted them, but also it might be right. worth noting that uh, it's a comedy podcast. That says oh. it's a comedy podcast. Two Jews, one brain. So now, so oh, now so, we, so know. we assume that the titular Jews are probably okay saying two Jews, one brain. If they're sure. we're we're woof, okay. I don't know. I'm still. I'm not willing to get that comfortable yet. Oh. I'm still on but, edge. But I saw I saw a hand go up, so they're here. But I I'm not sure I'd want to fucking. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I don't think I don't think scratcher. that's how you should get your podcast signal boosted. Right. I think yeah, you, you don't should, just get to you don't just get to be. I think you should be targeted by the FBI Thank for you. a while or something. <laughs> I don't. I don't mind if it's a good podcast, but I don't want. I don't want. Pe- there are people that's sitting in I their seats like, going like, "Oh, well, now, what do I got to do?" I feel yell like, out uh, a dollar, Riceroni, a dollar. You know, like, <laughs> like, like, what, what is this world where uh, uh, the, the, the squeaky wheel gets the grease? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, nice people. I don't know what to tell you. I'm sorry. <sighs> so, so there's a podcast. I'm not. I'm not going to promote this shit. That's good. <laughs> I, I mean, the joke's on them. They're, ne- they're never going to make any money in podcasting. I mean, they're going to... That's they, the true... Yeah, that's it, the It might actually laugh. be their punishment if we direct a little bit of traffic to them enough to keep them from getting and, real and, jobs. And, and let's just remind everybody, it's called Three Jews, Four Brains. <laughs> so go to threejewsfourbrains.com. Uh, hashtag threejewsfourbrains.com. I will signal boost a couple of things. Uh, there's just Netflix things. This is our next segment that we'll bring on our guest. This is... Uh, uh, Dan Harmon's life now is sitting in bed watching Netflix. Uh, uh, oh, 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 oh. From the womb to the tomb. All right, well, you got to watch the Bravo Dirty John adaptation, even if you heard the podcast, it's crazy. The, Bra- the Bravo Dirty John thing. Oh, man. Everybody see that? Did you check it out? You watched it? Yeah. 
how long is it? What's the episodes? What happens? You kill it in like eight hours or something. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Yeah. It's, the podcast was nuts. Yeah. And as, I mean, you could go from the podcast to the, it's, the, it's not like unenjoyable to watch the adaptation. Uh-huh. It's, it's somewhat more enjoyable because the thing is having wa- listened to the podcast, then you know that the young ladies, the, all the actors are killing it, but the young ladies who are playing the daughters, you know, from listening to their interviews in the podcast that they're not doing caricatures right. of like, it's it's a really interesting thing. These daughters, uh, I, I can't, I won't spoil the story uh, 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 of of Dirty John, but these these daughters are just like so. <laughs> If you wrote characters like this in your sitcom or your movie, they would be so, you would, by default, you'd be like, oh, and they're bad people just because of the trappings of them. And they're just like these, these, these kind of like, they, 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 they judge their mom's relationships and police them and all these things because the mom's been divorced four times. And they're just sort of like, it's like, hey, I got you a chai tea latte. Oh my God, was he here again? And it's just sort of like they, they, they're fully committed to these characters, but they're great actors playing these characters. Plus, those daughters, you know, emerge as heroes, which is all I can really say about the story without spoiling it. But it's just interesting as a writer exercise when you, you're like. Yeah, there's there's characters with depth that you're supposed to like, and then there's characters that are like so fun because they're two dimensional. But only in a real life adaptation of something is a writer forced to take people that actually sound and seem two dimensional and 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 walk them through this story where they they're 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 heroes. And it, it's like it's a stranger than fiction kind of thing. Yeah, it's just you just watch it. Uh, you're gonna like it. I mean, watch it. Watch it for 30 seconds, and you'll watch it for 40. I mean, that's the Harmon guarantee on Dirty John. <laughs> uh, likewise, the documentary Three Identical Strangers. Check that out. I think everybody's talking about that. Uh, the, the, the abducted in plain sight. Whoo, doggy. Boy. At what price Mormonism? Uh, uh, is, uh, check that one out. Just I don't even know. <laughs> I, That's I, what I, I've been saying. It's just that after the, the Elizabeth Smart thing, I have a manifesto thing, like I saying, on Blogspot. I listened to the Elizabeth Smart uh, 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 book on tape, and I was so it's it's, it's this weird double edged sword because like I, the only way she survived that ordeal was was through her faith. Like I mean, she's such a resilient person, and it's, I, I, I genuinely admire. Whenever I see, whenever, whenever in real life you hear stories about that involve Mormonism, it's like you you come up against this. Like you're like, geez, you guys really, you really believe in God. You know, like, like like that's crazy how much you believe in God, <laughs> like, and it really gets them through shit, and it makes their makes them friendly and like forgiving, like the forgiveness, like the weaponized forgiveness, like. <laughs> It's crazy. <laughs> like they, 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 they're able to forgive the fuck out of things, um, and, and, and I mean, it's truly inspirational to a ma- anybody who's a, like a mainstream, just run of the mill, podunk, fucking uh, blue pill Christian. Um, <laughs> yeah, the, the, the Mor- you gotta take that. What's, what color pill would, would be Mormonism? You gotta take that uh, Wood pill. daffodil pill. Uh, anyways, but, but watch it. So this documentary, the, the, the abducted in plain sight, it's another tale of, 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 of child exploitation and abduction and stuff like that. But it is like only in the, within a Mormon community is this, it it, doesn't seem that stuff is possible. It's just, it's just crazy. Watch it and then we'll talk about it. I'll give you a week. But I did, while we were watching it, Cody and I were talking about, uh, here's, here's like a little Mormon thing. Are you, uh, should there be theme music for this? Or? When, when the Mormons, when they go to their uh, Mormon college and stuff, and they're like regular biological horny teenagers, but they're Mormon, like they have developed these, every, every, any religion, if you're committing to it and you're a teenager, there's going to be these things are going to develop. This is not, a, this is not about judging uh, anybody for their, for their faith um, or, or saying like, oh, those people are crazy. Well, anybody, anybody, any place where there's, if you got to believe in God and you're living in America, you, some shit's going to be nuts as a byproduct. So this is not, this is not about punching down. Um, he, he proclaimed, um, <laughs> but it's, a, it's just, it's just, uh, it's just weird. This shit that like, so there's this thing called soaking. Whoa. It's like, it's like kids. So we've heard with like Catholic kids, if you're like really Catholic, 
it, you know, they, you hear these stories where like, oh, well, I'm still a virgin if we do it in the butt, that kind of thing. So, so now that I've said that, and, you know, I'm not judging like where it's, but they, there's this thing called soaking where they're like, so, you know, the kids get themselves convinced like that, you know, well, if you just put it in and you don't move it, and you're you're not, that's, not, that's not sex. That's Everybody knows sex is like back and forth. So if you just marinate it, <laughs> you're not, no, God doesn't I'm see a, that. He doesn't hear fair. that cricket, cricket leg. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like in, uh, in a quiet place. If you, yeah. if you don't move the dick. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, yeah. If I, I, used to be, I used to be Mormon. And uh, when I was a kid, I was, I, I, I was. Of course. I, I, I was. He I was, was soaking all the time. I was soaking to. I was soaking to the east. I was soaking to the west. I was soaking with the Mormon that I loved the best. But this is the thing. That's be the thing soaking. I believe. This, this is the part it's where I so actually, good. I mean, I, <laughs> Cody and I were like, that can't be real. And then we, we looked it up. And who knows if you look something up, whether it's real or not. But along with soaking comes the concept of jumpers. Uh -oh. Jumpers are friends whose aid you solicit. If the soaking, as I imagine it would, starts to become unsatisfying, oh. um, and you still, and you, 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 just, you can have your friends come over and, uh, and jump you, and 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 they're and they stand on the mattress and kind of they're jump jumping. <laughs> They're so jumping. now you're soaking. you're soaking. This is just this is just sir, soaking turbulence. It's that's just science. That's all it is. And, right. the, and, and the worst thing that can happen is that you can you can become Supreme Court justice. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag I mean, Kavanaugh. I mean, don't all paths lead to Rome? And can't you, at that point, if you're soaking and jumping, and you're still getting into heaven, uh, can't you just go all the way with it and like call the the sperm that comes out in the event of a, a of an over jump soak? Like, <laughs> just say that that sperm doesn't count because the tadpoles are 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 Lutheran or something like. <laughs> The, it just and just and just have the baby and like raise it like as a, a you know and say like well you were conceived as a as a jumper baby, <laughs> but so but, you can do whatever you want and if you, you but you, but you, you should know we love you because we're Mormon. You can have you can have caffeine. You can have caffeine. You can watch Raggedy Ann and Andy's Christmas special at school. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if Mormons had to, do, do they, is that like Jehovah's Witnesses? Like Jeho the Jehovah's Witnesses always had to leave the room when we were in grade school. They had to, when we would sing Christmas carols and watch Christmas shows, like when we were kids and Christmas would come around and then the Jehovah's Witnesses would have to go out in the hallway. They would have to or they chose to? Uh, well, <laughs> well, it's not like the teacher was like, oh, here's, here's our cr Christ, r r fr frosty, fr frosty meets Christ uh, 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 special. Hey, Carl, get the, f you, you. <laughs> uh, no, they, I mean, they'd raise their hand and, right. and, and, and maybe if the teacher was right. new, they'd explain, but the t over the years, it was like, yeah, get, get okay, yeah, get out of here. Spoil sport, go, go run the halls. Yeah, <laughs> hey, we're gonna force people to watch stupid shit. Go do what you want. Jehovah's Witness is also incredible. I, uh, my memory of all of those kids, like like four or five of them in my public school, incredibly friendly, like just non-judgmental. Like uh, uh, yeah, it's weird. This double-edged sword of like when these these religions that kind of yeah they got they got a bit of a Steve Jobs approach as far as accessibility to their children's souls. Like you know, it's like no, we don't want any of your viruses ideologically or anything. So you know, we're, we'll we'll just be behind these walls and and we, we'll. We'll, 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 we'll kind of curate the American experience for these folks. We're not going to take part in your general uh, past, pastiche. <laughs> like, it, 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 it's, it produces, you know, it's like you, you, get, you get your good results and you get your, you get your swarm of 19-year-olds of who are like on the internet going, let's compare notes about being a Jehovah's Witness, and it starts to get pretty... That religion's uh, got PR problems. Have I told you, Dan, or like on the show before, about my friend, my, a Mormon friend from high school, who, like the nicest family. They throw these great parties, and like they're like probably the, like, one of the wealthiest families at our school, and they would throw these giant parties. And my friend Roy was like the coolest dude, and got along with everybody. And it's like, like he, th that family made such a case for being Mormon because they were so like awesome. They were just like the most generous, lovely people. Have I told you the story about the the, the church sign? You know, like those little billboards that, that I put out, like little things that say, like, hey, this Sunday, or, you know, like, Jesus loves you. Like, and they, the little, like, placards out in front of the thing. 
Roy was the nicest straight A student, the most meek and mild, lovely dude. He called like me, I think Matt Gorley, a few other people, and said, uh, "Get up and drive around town and look at these five churches." He, <laughs> and they had all put up this. this I don't. I forget which denomination it is, but they'd all put up this thing that says "God cares," and lovely, meek, never heard a fly, like straight A student Roy went out and changed all of them to dog races. <laughs> he just couldn't resist. His, his low, he, he, he worships a higher power called uh, wordplay. <laughs> but for three hours, you could drive around Whittier, California, and it was just dog races. <laughs> when he dies, he goes to heaven, and, 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 and Gabriel just stone-faced points over to yeah. this like dog track where he has to spend eternity. <laughs> yes. It's like, you're not going to hell, but you have to like... You, I, I hope you have allergies. <laughs> Why are all these do- These are all the dogs. These races are going to go on forever. Yeah, you have to race every single one of them. By the way, they age seven times faster than a person, so you're never getting in. Damn. You're not getting into heaven. I'm going to re- re- restart this. I'm okay. workshopping. Right, okay. You're not getting into heaven until you've raced every dog. Wait, he has to race the dogs himself? Yeah. Okay. You have to, each dog needs to be individually raced. <laughs> but, but him versus the dog or other yeah, dogs yeah. racing each other? Yeah, they all have to be raced versus another dog. I, oh, I, I think it's better if he has to race every dog. Because okay. all, all, dog. all dogs go to heaven right. and he has to race every one of them. It's what? like it's like Tantalus or Sisyphus or something. What about Cujo? Do you think he went to heaven? He she was terrifying. It wasn't his fault. Mm. It wasn't Cujo's fault. Well, do you think? Well, is it Jeffrey Dahmer's fault? I, what are we saying? <laughs> yes, it was Jeffrey Dahmer's fault. What, what's the difference Cujo between didn't Cujo put and people Dahmer? In refrigerators and fucking fuck them and shit. Obviously, the, people don't do that unless they're fucked up. Cujo is a fucked up dog. D- Dahmer's a fucked up guy. Like, what, what are we? Dan, I don't understand. All, I, all dogs go to heaven. Cujo is up in heaven going, look, everybody, I'm sorry. I had a bad run. If I, well, Cujo killed people. Uh, uh, probably a mailman, I assume. I've never seen the movie, but, but uh, <laughs> I assume the first to go is a mailman. He killed, a, he killed 14 Frisbees. <laughs> God I'm knows sh- how many tennis balls. If, if you are a, a Christian mailman right. killed by Cujo, right. you go to heaven, yes. and you're like, and they're checking the book, and they're like, oh, the mailman's here. Ooh, it looks like you steamed open a couple of uh, clearinghouse sweepstakes uh, right. things. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. It was, I just wanted to see what they looked like on the inside, because my wife won't let me open them. It's not like I thought I was going to steal somebody's winnings. I, uh, you know, you can't lie up here. We can read your mind. I accept that. Thank you. Uh, and they're like, they're murmuring, and he's like, fuck, God damn it. I'm so fucked. And then you just hear like, roof, roof, roof. Oof. And you look through the pearly gates, right. and fucking Cujo's running around, <laughs> fetching a ball for uh, Tom Hanks's dad. Right. I was just I'm just trying to think of someone who's guaranteed but, 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 heaven. But, but, wouldn't you, as that mailman, go, "Oh wow, if Cujo's in here, then I'm good to go." No, you're in line, getting your balls busted by the velvet roper, and uh, the, 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 and, and it is like Cujo's. You're like, you're like, what is that, Cujo? And and they're like, yeah, and they're like, uh. And you're pointing at the gaping fucking bite wound on your neck. Right. And uh, Gabriel's like, uh, uh, I, you look, he, all dogs go to heaven. I'm sure Cujo. Is there a comment box? I'm sure Cujo, when he went up to the pearly gates, they, he got his balls busted too. And they're like, who, who's a bad boy? <laughs> who's been a bad boy? Well, and then Cujo's going to be like, fuck you. I'll pee on you because all dogs go to heaven. I already heard. <laughs> Like, like you need, you need, you need to, like, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. You, you either, it's pick a lane, heaven. If I go to heaven and I see a happy Cujo who's been, like, who has atoned for his Cujo sins, I'd, I'd be, oh, this, this, is, this is a good heaven. I don't think all dogs go to heaven. I think they picked that as a title for a movie that they wanted to trick you into watching. <laughs> I don't think that's an official biblical stance. I think dogs cannot accept Christ as their savior. If, if it's hard, hard for a rich man to get into heaven through the eye of a needle or whatever it is, like, like what is it, a camel, a, a camel can't get through a, a needle? Uh, but but fa- a, a camel can get through the eye of a needle faster than a rich man can get into heaven? Yeah. Well, well, so that poor camel, like, 
Well, the camel was the camel going no, no, to heaven. No, not. the camel's going through a needle. So the camel doesn't get into heaven at all. He the just camel, gets put through a needle. No, that's all, not on the table for the camel. All camels go to heaven, but they're just using camels as a, as a metaphor. Right, for, camels don't sin, as we all know. What about camels that refuse to go through the needle? I think when the Bible was written, that was the biggest animal they could think of. They didn't. They, they didn't know about elephants. Oh yeah. Shit. Well, it was, the, it was the humpiest animal. Yeah, like yeah. they probably saw like right. elephants, but they're like. Well, they're they're like let's be clever about this because like a, a camel is like so humpy that that even if you made it a big needle, it would still be like <laughs> it'd still be an arduous process yeah, to right. get it through. It'd be like it'd be like putting a key on a keychain. That's what they they just didn't have keychains. They're like it's 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 harder to, to for a rich man to get in heaven than it is to put a new a key in a yeah. new keychain. Yeah, it's harder for a rich man to get if you don't have fingernails than to put. Then you put your USB to, into any USB port. Yeah, it's, you have a better chance of getting into heaven as a rich man than you do of guessing right than when you plug in a USB. <laughs> it's, it's this is the, 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 the King Harmon edition of the Bible. <laughs> all right, well, let's, 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 let's discuss it all uh, with our old friend, Open Mike Eagle. Oh, yeah! Hello. What's Look, up, Mike? Hey, how's it going? Good. I think uh, I think all dogs go to dog heaven. Oh, it's like a oh. shitty heaven. It, well, if you're a dog, it's the best heaven. Because it's just dogs. Well, because they don't have anything to compare it to. True. Do but, you think it's... Do you think it's... Uh, they, they achieve... Uh, heaven fatigue seven times faster. I never heard of heaven fatigue before. I guess that's a. I guess this is something most of us assume. It's like an eternity of anything. How many millennia does it take for you to be like, oh, I wish I could die. <laughs> Maybe there's a reset button. Oh, and you could just forget who you are. You can forget. Yes, you you can have coming to heaven all over again anytime you want it. That starts to remove all meaning from any of it, <laughs> right? Oh. Like it's like, oh, I'll just. I mean, because I bet you would do that. You would like achieve. Like, I mean, I guess that gets very Eastern because it's basically like you achieve, you know, this kind of ultimate perfection. And you'd go, well, then let me experience. Uh, and you'd go back down and be like a termite or something. No, don't go back. No, I just mean start heaven over. Right. Not yeah, start that, life over, because that would be terrible. Do you, do you think... Uh, okay, look, I want to talk about dog oh, heaven. Oh, like resetting a game. Yeah. But it's just heaven again. Heaven plus. Yeah. I wouldn't mind getting reincarnated on Earth if you could prestige all the time. I don't like this idea, you know, like prestiging in video games. Like, like uh, send me back, but give me a rocket launcher. Like, uh, like for the new, whole like thing. Life New Game Plus. Like, you're born, right. yeah, you're born with a rocket plus. launcher, so they're, like, weighing you, and you're like... Fuck you. You keep all your experience points from your last yeah. life. Yeah, you can now just like water ski bef without learning. <laughs> this baby's great at water skiing. Why? Don't ask questions. It rocket has a launcher. rocket launcher, yeah. <laughs> Why does your baby have a rocket launcher? <laughs> I do think we'll experience life where babies can have skills. It's gonna be scary, but I think with genetic engineering, that's something we're gonna have to contend with. I'm kinda, Whoa, I'm, skill babies. Skill babies. That's crazy. I buy it. See? Holy shit. There's going to be skill babies, but they're going to be like, it's going to be like the, the army reserves where the, the parents uh, will have a right. They'll, they'll go like, you, getting pregnant will cost so much money. You know, oh, like they'll come yeah. to you and go like, so you want to procreate. You want to breathe some of this fucking air, which by the way, on the Dow Jones is now like more than diamonds. Sure. sure. I don't think diamonds are on the Dow Jones, but... but uh, <laughs> But they're, they're like, so you're going to bring a fucking uh, uh, rando into this planet where we're like fighting over molecules. Uh, wh what's in it for society? And you're going to be like, well, I, you know, Julie is uh, very good at painting and I created community. Um, <laughs> what happened to Cody? Who's this Julie? <laughs> <laughs> that was a weird, weird uh, juggle of real life, and then you made it you. That's honest, though. That's uh, honest. The, the, but uh, and then they, but then they, that was Duncan Trussell and I were talking about that, where it'll be like if you you can like basically sell the first twenty years of your unborn kid's life to various corporations, sort of like a fusion of the Israeli army and like internships and like. <laughs> Like, so that the kid, they go like, we're gonna give your kid 
uh, uh, extra uh, charisma if they work for Apple for two years. Oof. When they from fifteen to seventeen, and then the army goes like, "We'll we'll make him jump high if he does it with a gun on his head <laughs> for two more years than that." And you'll I be think like, okay. the thing with the baby skills skills come way before that. Baby skills. We're just Let's gonna, hope. Yeah. Is, is, is I there, think is, so. Is there a list of baby skills, or are the baby skills like are they assigned at birth, or is it just random? You don't. You, you get. I to think pick? you get to pick. I think that's the whole sales I pitch. Hope. Is you get oh. to pick what skills your baby wouldn't, has. Wouldn't wouldn't every uh, couple pick like like flight or invisibility? Like well, I don't think they're supernatural skills. Oh, I think okay. there's <laughs> there's skills you could already have. Oh. As an adult, but you, your baby could oh, have. So yeah, my, my baby speaks four languages. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> That's the kind of baby skills that's that I could really see skill. happening in the marketplace. Right. <laughs> but that's dystopic, right? You, as soon as we open up that jar, we're in trouble, right? True. The jar's kind of open, though. They make goats, like, yeah. every day. They make, like, new goats in a lab every day. They're doing that already. They finally did some human cloning in China, I think, recently, which is a benchmark I've always been watching, because I always wanted to be the first person to do a human clone. Like, I'm not a scientist or anything. I just wanted to. Like, you, accidentally? Well, no, on purpose. I always wanted to clone myself and just be like, hey, I did it, guys. I'm the clone guy. I'm the guy who cloned humans successfully. Ha ha. You know? Like an instant clone, or would you just be like 60 and there would be like a 30-year-old Spencer? Probably that, yeah. Coming out of a Petri dish. <laughs> no, I'd give it a couple of years and be like, check out this baby. That's me. I bet you're wondering how I got here. <laughs> And your baby's going to have the unreliable narrator skill. I, that would be nice. <laughs> I don't I don't want to I don't want to I don't want to I don't want to pick baby baby skills. I don't want to either, but somebody will. <laughs> yeah, it's going to happen no matter what. It's inevitable. It's true. I'm kind of I'm distracted by the thing that you you brought up though, like this oh. idea of like being in heaven and then there's this button and you go this idea of like getting to a point where you're like I've done it all for real. Like, there's nothing I can experience anymore. And then there's this button that says, start it over. Let me, let me, be, let me be honest here. This was inspired. I just started watching A Good Place, and I just got through the first season. So, like, that kind of uh, happened in there it. a little bit. Yeah. Like, kind of. And, and, you know, so. But it's I've, interesting because it's like a sci-fi or even a sitcom-y, like, way into, like, thinking about, like, oh, well, what if the god that, that made the universe is just, like, kind of. Yeah, it's like I mean, what's the difference, right? It's yeah. like you just you just doing this this weird thing where you're like, well, it's not going to be fun if I remember anything, and then you're like, Pfft. well, you're going to learn everything, right? Because it, it's heaven, and it'll be great. Like you, if, if you're going to get fatigued, heaven fatigue. You taught me that. <laughs> heaven fatigue. So yeah, that's the cure to heaven fatigue is you push the reset button. Yeah. Then you're not tired anymore because you forgot you were tired. But in in dog heaven. You're saying that dogs, it's just dogs, right? It's just dogs. They don't have any buttons. But, what, but who's going to throw the ball or, or, you know, do the thing? The ball gets thrown. The ball just, they don't care who throws the dog. It could be another giant dog throwing the ball. They don't care. God throws the ball. They don't, they don't like us. We think they do. They don't like us. They think we're dogs. Yeah, they think they, we're, they think we're like bears. I think. Yeah, I that, think that dogs think we're bears. They think we're bears. And they, I, I think they, I think dogs think that we're bears that think they're bears. Right. And they think they're the lucky dog who the bears think they're a bear yeah. too. But they all. That's why dogs all get along. Uh, essentially, like some of them are like, "Fuck you!" But I think they're like, 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 don't tell them we're dogs. Right. That's it. <laughs> you're letting on. Yeah. But most of them, like, when they're sniffing each other's butts, that's them going like, "Do they think you're a bear?" Yeah. Of course they do. Otherwise, they'd be eating us. And they're like, "This is this is what bears do, right? They sniff each other's butts, and yeah. it's, it's just a show." Because that's the thing in the wild that like looks the most like in a, in a dog's. You know, they, it's like they were big, hairy, or, or like weird things that that grow rah rah and like walk around on hind legs. And like, and like, if you fuck with our babies, we'll kill you. Right. Uh, and we're like always like like gobbling salmon out of a stream. Yeah. If bears start, if bears started feeding dogs first, we wouldn't even have dogs. Bears would have dogs. Wait, wait. So, yeah. yeah. If we if we if we wait, it's, it's, I missed the top of that. If we uh, weren't if we weren't around, bears would have dogs. No. If if bears started feeding dogs first, let's oh, say right, right, yeah. Bears started sharing yeah. the salmon with yeah. the but, dog. But, but, we but, wouldn't but, even have dogs. Let's, if, but if, let's, let's say you're walking your dog who thinks you're a bear that didn't that, that didn't eat you because you, it thought that you, you thought it was a bear too. Let's say you're walking through Yosemite National Park and a bear goes by. And like, like with your dog, you're yeah. you're with your dog in yeah. Yosemite, and a bear comes by. But yeah, and 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 the dog would be like, hey, 
Like fucking let's let's hang out with that guy. Well, that's I, why in bear attacks you never the dog never protects the person. They're like shit bear war. <laughs> There's only one loser here. Yeah. I'm headed for the... I'm grabbing the marshmallows and I'm out of here. <laughs> this is where my four legs come in handy. Yeah. I, could, I could leg it out of here. I just became an outdoors dog. <laughs> C- commence world's longest walk. Right. Uh, it, well, let's, it, let's, let's, okay, another scenario. You're walking your dog. You, you, Dan, you're out, you're out in Yosemite National Park and you're walking Harvey around. You're, you're golden doodle. And you see a wolf. Yeah. And... Like what is hard well, to think I about? don't know. I mean, you're poking holes in my theory. <laughs> and what about coyotes? I, I, I mean, what like what are they saying? We got I got coyotes right behind my my back wall right now. They're just like right there. I still haven't seen one. My dog sitter saw one uh, uh, when we were out of town. And they cross she, they, they cross my street all the time in a pack, and they they come down two different streets. Because they, they're surrounding... They, they they're like the sharks and the jets. They're going to have a rumble. Yeah. A coyote oh, yeah. rumble. You're never alone. You're never disconnected. But it's so crap. so crap. Some of the, Here's the thing. In my neighborhood, some of the uh, coyotes are Puerto Ricans, and some are just... Some coyotes are Puerto Ricans? York. Yeah. I guess that's true. <laughs> like, genetically yes. and I, geographically. I'm doing, I'm doing West some Side Story jokes. Oh, it's I a see. musical. Right. Yeah. Sondheim, remember? Okay. That was yeah, no, but but they, they they hunt in packs and they and they they, they all come down this one street, uh, down from the convent that I think Katy Perry bought, and uh, and they all and they come down this one road and then they all split up, and they all just fan out like the Blue Angels and they and then and then and ten minutes later, you hear the sound of an animal dying. Yeah, and then you hear a bunch of people screaming and then I open my like window and look out. And I, you see people just throwing shit at, at these coyotes who were running off with their animal. Yeah, this, you can char- you can track it like this every time, huh? You every can track time. it like this. Well, I mean, every- I mean I've, yeah. I've seen it happen. Like where, where I live, uh, Paul Rust and Les- Leslie Arfin, the, the great TV show creators, uh, their cat got ate, uh, uh, like, and their dog was traumatized by it and never got over it because the dog was giant. The and dog's they- like, you can eat the cat. <laughs> I sat here for 11 years <laughs> taking this thing's shit. Why can't I eat the cat? There's nothing but the dog in me. Uh, but yeah, but like, like the, the, their cat got eaten like next door to me and the sound of it and then the wailing of the dog going, I'm, I'm, I'm helpless I against a like pack you, of coyotes. I feel like if you keep seeing this happen where there's this dog procession and then some animal gets murdered, uh-huh. you should warn people. No, 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 no like everybody warns each you know, other. I, I see coyotes all the time come down my d- down my street, and and I I I I'll like I'll pick up like a rock and throw it at them, and they're like get the fuck out of here. But yeah. They, and they, they but all they do is just fan out, yeah. and, and you, you just see them like like a black ops unit, well, like, just you like, know, like going through backyards and fucking like 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 like. You know what their Seal technique is? Is they? Is, I, I don't. What I want to know is like what is a dog hearing when they hear a coyote? But you see the dogs go crazy when they hear like this. <laughs> it's like the coyotes start like. Doing this but their their typical technique is they'll send one stray coyote like they'll do one it'll start doing this thing like and like the dogs are like Mike do you, do you have sample technology in there can, we, can, uh, can we loop his coyote or no but apparently like they, they goad dogs into an interaction with like one it's like just pretty pretty standard raptor uh, uh, clever girl technique right. they 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 purposely like I think that's the fanning out thing is that they basically like they they they, they do these little trollings and then any dog that like takes the bait and kind of like is like fuck is there a like crazy dog over there that I could fucking talk to about uh, dis- being disguised as a bear, and uh, <laughs> and then and then they just they just fucking run up and grab that poor little fucker. There's a there's a there's a there's a dementia addled half blind like French bulldog that lives up above my wall where I hit, I just hear these coyotes now and I'm like I got a broomstick and I'm like I'm like get out of here, get out of here coyotes. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna buy like long flannel underwear with a butt flap just to. Yeah. I'm gonna have a cowboy hat with the brim up and a. Get out, you varmints! You should, um, you, should, you should buy a couple Roadrunners. Uh, <laughs> that attracts them. No, but but, but yeah, but they self destruct. Yeah, uh, but then you can but, also you can sell faulty products to the coyotes. Yeah. Well, if I yeah if I if I start <laughs> like yeah, it. just yeah, you, like like you style, can leave catalogs laying around yeah. like uh, magnetic boxing glove. Uh, they're like. <laughs> 
doing? You're like, I'm making money hand over fist. <laughs> I, I like once every couple years have a, uh, a, a standoff with a family of uh, skunks that just decide that they live... For charity. This is a charity thing. It's a, <laughs> it's, uh, Where do you live? <laughs> <laughs> Las Vegas on stage. He has the worst Vegas yes. stage show. Also, I can make a tiger disappear. Uh, <laughs> no, but they, they sometimes just skunks, the, the whole family, like, like Mama, Papa, and the little babies, and they're adorable. They're so cute. And they'll just be at, uh, on my front door... And I just go like, I, I, it's like late at night, I just got home, and I'm looking at, okay, there's a bunch of skunks just hanging out there, and they see you, and what they don't do is run off like other animals, like squirrels and cats. No, and yeah, like they, 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 just, they just look at you and like, what up? They're like, and, and, and I'm like, like and, and then if you get close and try to shoo them, the, the adults put their tails up in the air. Yeah. Which means. And they're like, you know, I have a, I, you, know, you know, it actually hurts to walk around with this shit. Like, give me a reason. Yeah. <laughs> It's burning my tail. I think it stinks too. <laughs> Look at me sideways. Like, 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 just, just yeah. infringe upon yeah. my a, 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 my ancient pact with the with the druids that yeah. founded Los Feliz. <laughs> yeah. They have like a a, a, a millennia old pagan yeah. uh, ceasefire. I I don't have a chip on my shoulder. I have a chip on my butt that I can't wait to fucking fire at you. Oh, did you ever see like in the nature document there's a, where they show like a skunk in high speed super slow mo like a yeah. skunk spraying? It's so gross. Super disgusting. It's uh, like like snot like coming. Out. It's like, like you know, it's just like it's not. It's it doesn't like oh stinky spray or like Fred yeah. Flintstone vapor. It's like grody, nasty, fucking Peter North, gross. We're pretty. <laughs> we're pretty fortunate that only one animal got that as a defense mechanism. Oh my god, yeah, like what, like like. It is crazy. Like the there's only like a handful of ways to protect yourself. Like, there could be birds that project how shit at you. I got, like I got pooped in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I was, uh, moving on. I was walking down the road. Walking down the road. Fucking midday. Downtown Los Angeles. Couldn't go get my car. Everything was groovy. And I see, <laughs> I see a flight of little birds. Like small little sparrow swallow sized birds. Little, little birds. And I see a little, like a little hoplite of fucking birds coming at me, and they're gonna <laughs> go up into a tree. And I see one bird, and I, I, I don't want to over uh, dramatize this, but I'm pretty sure this bird made eye contact with me, <laughs> like from the distance that Spencer is from me, but about ten feet higher, and came down with the rest of the birds, broke fucking ranks, like feathered off of that one, and fucking pooped, like about five feet in the air. And it went right in my mouth. Like it, 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 it judged the fucking trajectory, <laughs> like a like an '83 in television it, 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 game. No, no, <laughs> it, it was like fucking Iron Eagle. Uh, <laughs> uh, fucking, he just fired a missile of, of, of little uh, baby bird poop. It wasn't like a big like seagull turd, you know. It wasn't like a big giant thing. But it was just I, I just the bird flew at me and just dropped one about four feet away. But because of inertia. Yeah. That the poop leaving the bird is going to carry the same speed yeah. for, for the first few feet. Right. It, it landed it right in my bottom lip. I, I think my mouth was closed, but it went, ugh. <laughs> it went right there. I'm like, what the fuck? And, I, and I, th that bird knew exactly what, what was is happening. It, what is it with birds shit? Like, it's, you know, it's really gross. It would be one thing if it was like either like turds, like hamster turds, like little, those little, it's a, it's, or, or just glops of white goo. You know what's weird it's about both. it? It's both. That's yeah. so gross. And, and, the other uh, supernatural properties of bird poop, it's like, <laughs> it's, it's the, the, black on way, white stuff and yeah. it's white on black stuff oh, with yeah. the same bird butt. That doesn't even make sense. Because, Wait, what do you mean? Because like, like, like in, the in, color. In, in, large, like, pi, like, in large poop, like pigeon poop, I, I may be wrong about this because my avian knowledge is not where it ought to be. Oh, I see what you're uh, saying. It's like, it's like a reverse chameleon. Like, yeah. Like they've adapted. Like just let everyone know where our shit is. Like, they've but, mastered but, but the contrast. Brown, the brown part... The brown part is the feces, and the white part, or the, the lighter color stuff, is the urine. Oh. So that, that bird probably peed in my mouth. Uh. <laughs> Birds, you're gross. 
I, 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 if there are any birds that listen to the podcast, it, it, like, I, like, okay, your, we, bo- we, we, your bones are hollow, so it's not impressive that you can fly. Dan, we, we have a... Like, we ha- I could fly, too, if I had hollow bones, and I don't yeah. want them. I don't care. I, I can get on a plane. I don't want to do that either. I hate planes. You're, you're offending open mic eagle, right? Oh, no, so, oh, shit, no, I'm sorry. no. It's just a name. I have no no emotional connection to it at all. <laughs> at all. I just I do want to uh, remind everyone that this whole um, moment was started with you saying I got pooped in the mouth. Just, <laughs> oh, but he was all enthusiastic about mouth. it. Yeah. Like, oh, no, no, I got no. pooped in the mouth. No, I, he said my, like my enthusiasm. Don't don't mistake my enthusiasm for outrage, Dan. <laughs> no. I the bird intentionally. F- the, the birds were going off to my left, and one broke ranks and fired a poop in my mouth, or maybe pee. I don't know, but I, all I know is it's good luck. When did this happen? Huh? When did this happen? This happened. With Church, are you still here? She or, or she fucked off. Uh, it, it was like two weeks ago. Is this the first you're telling other people of this? I told her. I, I said, I, said I, I, I just got pooped in the mouth. <laughs> Is it fair to blame this on the government shutdown? <laughs> no. Like, that wouldn't happen if, Wait. if there was uh, okay. 800,000 yeah. people the getting FAA. paid to work. They regulate this stuff. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe it was longer. I, it might, I, th- I feel like it was pre-shutdown. Oh, I don't know. No. Look, look, the, like, the t- timeline's not important. What matters is that I got pooped in the mouth. All right, well, Birds are uh, savage when, when creatures. My brother, when my brother got married, we, we had a bachelor party uh, in like uh, Balboa, like Newport Beach, California, and we all went out the next morning to have a, like a Bloody Mary at this cool old dive bar in uh, Balboa. And we're hanging out, and my brother's friend, Bren, uh, is a college buddy. He's the most mellow surfer dude. He's fucking, he's like Matthew McConaughey. He's like, yeah, man, it's like, everything's cool. Like, he's just one of those guys. He's just super laid back. And he goes out to have a cigarette, and comes back in. I've never seen him look worried or bummed out. And he comes back in and he just like walking as fast as you can walk without running into the bathroom. <laughs> and then he comes back in and he sits down next to him and he picks up his buddy Mary and he's all like, oh, fuck, man. I'm like, Brent, what happened? And he goes, <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm going to try to say this without laughing. He said, uh, bird pulled a deuce on my bee. <laughs> <laughs> A bird pulled a deuce on my bean. That, that's the way, if you're a surfer guy, you say a bird shit on my head. <laughs> See, Australian? <laughs> no. I, I can't say a lot. Bird pulled a deuce on my bean. <laughs> mate. <laughs> it needs a mate after it. Uh, Let's make some music, shall we? Can I, can I say one more weird bird thing? Just yeah. before yeah. we... Before I, don't, I don't mind. I mean, look, I got a couple more animal things. Go ahead. Uh, so it was, it was raining a lot here in the right. last week or so um, and I was riding around with my kid and my kid goes I feel bad for the birds because they got to fly around on this rain little, little, little open a falcon eagle that's close oh, wait no open shit never mind that's close I was trying to riff your son's name well, almost did open, open, open Kevin Sparrow <laughs> Kevin <laughs> <laughs> well, little Kevin turns to me and he says oh no yeah he, say, he says uh he felt bad for the birds. And I was like, they're okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're driving like... You, yeah, you're, that's you're, exactly what I was yeah, doing. You're, you're, you're almost mad at them. Because in my heart, I was like, they are okay. But then he asked me why I had no answer <laughs> <laughs> whatsoever. <laughs> why are the birds okay? Are they okay? Should we be concerned? There should be sanctuaries. Well, if they weren't okay, the, the, wouldn't the We'd ground be problem. covered with them? I, but then he starts crying. See? <laughs> this, is, this is the confidence I had, but I also yeah. had no reason. Do you, you ever watch the, uh, the David Attenborough, the Life of Birds thing? Like It's like the like Planet Earth kind of stuff. It's called The Life of Birds, and I think there's like six or eight episodes. It's so good. Um, it's just his British, the, 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 British uh, dating uh, tips. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, look at that bird over there. The life oh, of the birds. I fucking like to watch her flap bird. around. Oh, she knows what hell. she's doing. Fucking hell, look at that <laughs> fucking bird. <laughs> Can I buy you a drink, bird, you yeah. fucking little fucking... Offer her a fag. Uh, yeah. No, but there's one that's just about the technology of feathers. It, and, and the reason why they don't fucking have to worry about it is the feathers are like this like, like Klingon cloaking device for water. Like they just, it's I almost said some bullshit like feather technology, but I couldn't back it up. Also, and you also said you would see birds all over the ground. You almost never see a dead bird in the ground. 
like maybe a few times in your life you'll see like a, a, a oh shit there's a dead bird. It is weird. Uh, yeah. The reason why you don't is because they're instantly eaten by other things, and because they're so light, because the bones are hollow and they're made of feathers, um, they blow away. Yeah. So they like. But I bet get, the feather in the uh, for, Forrest Gump is probably a recently. <laughs> also, also that feather uh, killed Archduke Ferdinand and started World <laughs> War One. That's how fucking rich the history of Forrest yeah. Gump is. Before, and, 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 and when it did, like someone was like, whoa, Feather, why'd you do that? Think different. Yeah. That's great. We yeah. should use that. And that chocolate box was made out of the lunar lander. <laughs> how, how old is Kevin Sparrow? Uh, he just turned 10. That's a, that's sort of, I mean, that's got to be amazing, right? It is. Like, I would love to have a 10-year-old... I don't want anything, almost anything else. I hear you. Because no, I, cause I it's remember a real being solid 10. Age. That's going to go uh, mimetic tomorrow. You're, 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 you're two years from him chesting up on you. <laughs> right, no, it's going to happen for sure. He He's tried. Gonna be like, you're going to be like, why does that get an eye roll? In, All I said was good morning. Yeah, in, in, any, in any way he can, he tries to dominate me now he just can't because he's 10 right. but when he's 12 it'll be but different but they have like I mean I've got like, like, like the 10 year olds they're like first of all they play Minecraft so I'm just like mm. yeah. Uh, and, and but then they, they just love I, 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 they, they love to just like talk about lists of shit they're like yes. Dilophosaurus is another guy like well the Zorus and I, I'm just like this is so much more interesting to, than like credit cards and, is your son a, uh, is your son a skill baby uh, I don't think so I think we've taught him everything he knows. <laughs> Either that or somebody else are, are, are you like, what's your relationship like? Is it, is it like, are you guys pals or? Yeah, we're pretty cool. Um, <laughs> we are. That, we, that was, we have some shared interests. That was a measured response. <laughs> yeah, because I think it's comp a complicated answer. Probably. Sometimes I kind of think maybe he's just hanging around because he's legally obligated to. <laughs> That's what it yeah. sounded like. like oh, we went to the zoo the other day, and I'm like, eh, I felt like it was kind of a mutual. <laughs> I love him, all right? <laughs> my, my, my question, I guess I, what I'm asking is, do you, do you like him as a person? Like, like, oh, I like him a lot. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> he is 10, though. <laughs> so he can be a pain in the ass. Oh, my God, yes. But, oh, but yeah. in cute ways most of the time. Yeah. Is he yeah. gangly? He, is, is, first yeah, of all, is he sure. listening? He, oh no, he hates podcasts. Okay, and he's he's not allowed to listen to this one. But is it? Yeah, is he getting gangly? Yeah, he is. He is. Uh, he he's a tall, skinny version of his toddler self, which is weird. But he's not quite like a teenager yet. He's yeah. just a a long, small child. <laughs> I see pictures of myself around that age. And I'm like, oh, it could start to, uh, yeah, like, like I don't, I don't think our human brains are like designed to adorableize <laughs> like this, like the day to day transition where it's like, this is the, the gangly period where we're like, Ugh, will you just pick a lane? You know what I notice about <laughs> what I notice about him too, because you know, because he's constantly growing. We're having to buy shoes and shit all the time. Yeah, he grows out of everything. Um, his pants always get short. He's wearing the same shirt he was wearing when he was five, I swear to God. It's like his legs get long, but his torso so he's stays be, the same size. He's going to be, gonna be tall then. Uh, maybe. Yeah. Maybe that's all children. I have no I idea. Saw, I saw when, I, when I was 10, I had, I had like, I, I was really short, but I had giant, like, like my shoes were like really right. out, like outside. I, I looked like I was, I was skiing all the time. And I, I, I made a lot of noise walking around. I was like skinny and short, but with, with like big ass feet. Mm -hmm. That's all of them. I, I saw a British documentary about puberty. Uh, it was David Attenborough. It was, it was I don't know. It, it was uh, I bought it on I, I bought it in uh, Times Square from some guy in a raincoat. I was no. It, it was it, it was like, like like it was this. It was really cool. I I, I can't remember what it's called. I saw it like years ago, but it was like um uh it was like they 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 kind of like take you through like a boy and a girl both are going through these changes uh, like they they're both it's it's it starts they live next door to each other in this little uh, uh town and then like they they go to school together and then it's like they t they walk you through puberty and they including like like th the fact that the boy his brain chemistry is starting to change and so like thoughts of like of of it's like 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 he starts like scuffling with other boys and I was just talking about like all of this like like weird biochemical shit. One of the things that they said was uh, both of them, you know, as they're going to bed at night, like, like it, it, it when, when, when shit kicks in, 
literally overnight these changes are happening and i think they said like if you were able to somehow without being a a, a villain in a maybe a, a eli roth movie like if you were able to like focus in on like the leg bones of a kid at that age you could see with the naked eye the like growth happening that's how fast like 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 bones are lengthening and shit like like they, they wake up and they're like a quarter inch taller i don't know I wonder if you could hear it. Does it sound like a tree? Does 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 you, does you sound like? Do, 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 do. Like I'm gonna write a book about you. <laughs> does your son? No matter what, Mike. Does your does your son like listen to your music? Do you play music with him? Uh, he used to like my music. <laughs> he, he like he like your old shit. Well, yeah. He's a he's a hip he's a hip hip. No, he uh, we we programmed him with all this independent alt rap shit and then he like heard Drake for the first time oh, shit. and now he wants you lost him we lost him I mean we lost him for a while this is his rebellion he likes to he likes to hear the hi-hats like right. that's that's what he's into you know <laughs> that's amazing it's all about hey, the is mixing he, is he musical or is he gonna is he raps gonna fall off? Uh -huh. he raps he raps a lot he raps himself to sleep every night does he write or freestyle only freestyles he will not write a ram a rhyme. oh shit all all right. Right. Well, write a ram or now we're gonna ask is he good he is pretty good he used to like not use words, so that was bad. Like he would just <laughs> that's cheating. Freestyle I think that's syllables, cheating. yeah. So, he would uh, just make up uh, enough syllables to get to. Dabble, 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 Ella Fitzgerald had a career. Out of <laughs> that's true, but those were those were choices. Right. He wasn't making choices. Um, <laughs> He's just fudging it. He's just yeah. kind of like. Let's get a dab a dab a flip a boop. Yeah. Oh, that reminds me too. He loves to make fun of '80s rap. Oh yeah. Just like that. Right. He'd be like, I'll be like, what does 80s rap sound like? He'd be like, like Run DMC. He would even die in a papa da ba ta. And then <laughs> I'm like, yeah, you're right. That's it. That's that's a little fast. That was a little wait, fast. It was, you're right. Does he know 80s rap? Like he knows Run DMC? Yeah, I've, and shit, I've, look, I've, I've steeped him in rap. So, but so now he has these refined tastes where he knows what to hate on. But you say now now he's into more poppy, like like, yeah. big, like bigger, like produced stuff. He likes relevance, like most people. <laughs> <laughs> that's why it's called pop. It's popular. <laughs> What do we think Martin Luther King Jr. would, do we think he would have been a, a hip hop uh, fan? Would he have been like a crotchety, would he have been like, I have a dream that you're turning that down. Ooh. Like, or would, or would, you know, like, ah, Ella Fitzgerald, or, or, or would he be like, this no, is he would, the... No, he would have been very disappointing, yeah. He, he would have hated rap. Just because it's not, because you, you see, you think he was, probably because it's like, I mean, it, it, because it's like, oh, you should be, the his definition of like right. championship was like you're going to a school that has music classes and you're playing an instrument and like, like you're 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 conquering the system. His idea of rebellious music would be like blues music with curse words. You know what I mean? Like right. like rap would be just straight obscene to him. But also at, the, at, the, at that time, like uh, of his life, like up in Harlem, the, like the jazz clubs and stuff like that. That that's where like like the, the, that, right that that culture of music. that was the dangerous part of town where they played a uh, upright bass. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He didn't actually. <laughs> I mean, he thought he always thought like, oh, just keep moving forward, keep moving forward, and he didn't know. Like, yeah, God, I mean, he would have wept had he known like the the Harlem Renaissance and like the 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 the, the counter targeting mm. and what it resulted in like I think if you explained it all to him then he would be a hip hop fan because he'd be like well the, when you put it that way right because it's basically like oh you can't have you so no, you, if can't, he, you if can't he, have music funding you can't have an instrument you can't go to things and then it's like well then fuck you wicka 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 so, <laughs> so if like, he if he read the hip hop Wikipedia page right if he yeah, if he if he right read as much about hip hop as about I did about him the, the, an hour ago I think he'd I, he'd be a smart enough guy to be like okay well then you gotta like, but no, I think Mike, he'd be really. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, Dan. Go ahead. No, I, I probably don't have to finish. All right. I just, I, no, I think, he, I think he'd be really bummed out that there was like the, that, that, that was like, oh shit, there was a counter punch because right. wasn't there? There, yeah, was. there was a huge one. I, I mean, mean, it was it, like the '80s I, were like, no fuck. It, it was like, boom. It like, like right when I was a kid and I was, I was not conscious of it, but then. Then in the 2000s, it's like then we're learning about it. Like, the, I, I, I mean, I think it was really in the '70s. I think. Um, if you look at COINTELPRO specifically, which was like an official FBI program that was like sent to destroy the black uprisings, basically. Um, and they a lot of it was with crack cocaine right. and, and with heroin and just stuff that was funneled into communities because they knew that it would like destroy people. 
And if nothing else, if you can just if you can attach a drug to a population, then you, there's always a reason to throw them in jail whenever you see them. Yeah. Also, yeah, and then you turn around and make the laws that are more specifically punitive towards the things you've introduced into the community. It's it's a it's a lot, and and it created a generation gap, and a lot of that is is part of why. Um, the ruder parts of rap music are like they are. Cause mm -hmm. like this is a generation of people who lost parents. Yeah. Like though like when you see a crackhead or hear about a crackhead, that's somebody's mom. Yeah. Then they just weren't around because crack was more important to them. Yeah, when I was in high school, it was like all of a sudden all the all the white guys were in the locker room were like were were reciting the easy E lyrics. It was like this thing was happening, it was the double irony of, oh, hip hop has gone full nihilism, but at the same time, now it now white people love it. <laughs> so now it's worth money. So now, et cetera. Like, it was just fucking so weird. Where, where, where let's solve think, it tonight. Let's figure it out. Where do you out. think that's at now? Like, cause I, I, obviously, like, like. It, let's, let's see, we're gonna. We're <laughs> uh, Mike, when, you, when you're writing your music, because, like, your stuff is, like, poetic and funny, and, you know, like, you just keep, like, I mean, I, from what I've heard, like, it's just, like, you just keep moving and, and talking. Are you talking to yourself? Are you talking to an audience? Like, like who, who, when you're writing your stuff, are you writing just to get stuff out, or are you, are you trying to, like, 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 are you trying to tell a story to somebody else? Or are you just talking about the stuff in your head? I think, uh, I think I'm, I am trying to entertain, but like I'm, I'm starting with trying to entertain myself. So I think I'm filtering what I want to say through to other people via what amuses me right. mostly, and I think that's. That's cool. Kind of that's Do you think like the emo rap thing? Like I, we probably talked about this last time, maybe, and I was blackout drunk. But the like to me, it's like from what I hear, I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool. At least like like it, the, the 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 like rappers that are like grinding their jaws and going like, I'm so fucking high, I'm pills, and like no one's calling me back. Um, <laughs> that it's like like the more like like, like that's. <laughs> <laughs> that, I smell a hit. I mean, I, <laughs> the uh, I don't know. I was I was I was like to me that I I was I was like I I was I was you know I was like oh good it's like it, that feels like not um that feels like not uh like uh, uh, uh that feels like one iteration less healthy maybe than being like. Uh, here's how it is, and I'm resigned to like my play. I don't know. It's like I statements and like exploring depression seems like a like a cooler uh, thing than being like uh, almost I, I, like tricked into celebrating uh, criminalization as opposed like exploring a, a, a addiction and and codependence and loneliness and alienation is like. Oh, we're starting to meet in the middle here because uh, white America is now all opiated out and like like yeah, I mean, at that's, least that's, we can all just be like, yeah, oh, fuck that, I want to buy Nintendo. Yeah, and and I think that's exactly where it gets hazy, right? Because it's music is a huge business, so something that might be might have genuine worth for us psychologically or emotionally is quickly co-opted. Yeah. You know, and and figured out like marketed in a way that becomes dangerous. So like, y you don't necessarily just get the benefit. But I think that you know, like selling art, basically, you just have to contend with those sorts of things. When you when you stuff, huh? When you're writing, uh, uh, this is just a like a writing question. Like like when you, when you're making stuff, are you do you just sit down pen and paper and write or or type? Or are you just kind of freestyling in your head and say, "Oh, that's good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that." No, in. I write. I write a lot. I write. I rewrite all of that. Yeah. So, so it's actual pen to paper. Yeah. Well, it used stuff. to be pen to paper. Now I'm typing. I hate it, but I do it yeah, because I'm lazy. But same thing. Yeah. 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 You gotta keep up with your kid too. That's true. If you if you if you use a pen, he's gonna fucking swallow you up. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> he's good. Uh, your son thinks you're a bear, by the way. He does. <laughs> We produced some stuff. I like oh, because we we oh, they, they, oh. it started with uh, uh, Starburns Audio wanting to put out like a, a tape of like just the 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 rapping the rapping from the podcast like mm -hmm. just just the raw record just the clips which you can hear for free if you just listen to the podcast and stuff and the audio is whatever it is 
And I, I think it must, it was me just going like, well, could we, if you're going to like sell it to people, can we do like a B side where we bother to take the raps and like re-record them. And then we had to have this whole conversation where we're like, is our job to make them good? <laughs> because then you change everything or is it, or, or like what it's, it, it's like when you're restoring a painting from the Renaissance, but it ain't from the Renaissance. <laughs> it's from a, a horrible show in, in Denver. <laughs> uh, but it's, it's sort of like we, 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 we recorded a bunch of stuff. That, we did. Uh, uh, yeah. It's a, a lot of you, what we decided to do was uh, kind of repeat your process from here. Like you just, rap like that's right. what you do we don't need to sit and try to craft right a bunch of perfect rap songs like the the essential dan Harmon rap experience is him just fucking rapping right you guys have heard that i'm sure you yeah it's true it couldn't be more genuine we heard it today yeah that's what i, I thought i heard a little bit of it but yeah um, i mean it's a little goes a long way i like <laughs> it um so yeah we got a we have a, a bunch of songs that we made you would Rap and rap and rap and rap and and we would kind of craft these songs based off of uh, what you, you did. You brought, I, do, we, I did bring some. Should we play, play some? I, 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 think, I, I think we should. Because we haven't. <laughs> like one of like Simon Ore from uh, Starbirds kind of went through initially and like pulled out all of the all of the times the like raps. I was like rapping like there the ones that stick out are like apologies to Denver. That's a good one. Uh, what is it? Uh, um, what's the one? It's uh, Funky Horns. Funky Horns is dope. <laughs> Funky Horns. <laughs> Funky Horns is tight. I I, I really like um, the song dedicated to Mark Maron. Wait, that's that's probably I, my favorite. The, the, the Funky Horns that we have, uh, the, the one we always play. Oh, you know yeah. the horns. Yeah. I think the the horns were playing when I came out here. I think. <laughs> the horns. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna. You know what? That's what we're gonna do. Oh, we're we're going to play Funky Horns. Right. We're going to play Dan Harmon's rap version of, of Funky so this, Horns. This is you guys in the studio or on stage during the show? This, this is a studio yeah. version. Okay. This, right. is, this is a world premiere. This is deep in the lab. Okay. This is a world premiere. Oh, this is yeah. professional I don't think shit. y'all's buttholes are clenched tight enough. Okay? Uh, They're not. I can see. Right. <laughs> this is high stakes shit. This like, is. This is like there's going to be beefs and feuds. Well, we're going to get to that. <laughs> We're going to start with Funky Horns. <laughs> oh, yeah. Then Beef and Feuds. Uh-oh. Yeah. Let's bring those Funky Horns! Yo! Yeah. Funky Horns is the name of this track. You named it once and you never looked back. Ryan Elder is the man. Put all this shit together. He's a genius on the couch and the genius on the leather. Now I'm going to use my privilege to rap. I'm going to waste your time and rap just like that. I'm going to be fat and 44 years old. And I'm going to blow my ass into a microphone cord and fucking waste your time. Just a fucking big fat white dude fucking just talking shit into a microphone because he can pay himself to do whatever the fuck he wants. Rick and Marty, I created Rick and Marty. Rick, 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 Rick and Marty. A million dollars a season. A, a, a million dollars a season. Didn't earn it. Funky Horns is the name of this track. I'm gonna make this wrap up because uh, uh, my crap is gold. I don't do what I'm told. I get fired from every job, but it doesn't make me less bold. I came, I saw, I fucked. Vini, Vini, Vici, your mom said shucks. Fucked your mama with my understanding. I fucked your mama like it was not landing. Funky Horns is the name of this track. I'm, in, I'm gonna do an improvised rap. Well, I'm a big fat blowhard with lots of privilege. I fucked your mama so hard there was some shrivelage of her vulva, but it was from pleasure, I assure you. She wasn't going, ow, it hurts, I was abused. She was saying my pussy got adequately used. It was, I got inside the depths, I plumbed it inside and out. She needed a rest, and she was having a, a tremendous amount of satisfaction with my action. My rhymes can be predictable, but so can you. If you don't like fucking my mama, what you gonna do? You can't fuck my mama, I fucked that up. My mama's dead, why you bring her up? Fucking insensitive prick. My mom's fucking dead. Breast cancer, number one killer of women. Piece of shit. Light a candle. All right, here we go. Funky horns! <laughs> uh, Dan Harmon, everybody. That's a... But that's really opened my ego as as hip hop producer because hey, yeah, I mean the thing is like, like like it's it's like a different split between like I it's not I mean it's like I was I did I did a bunch of shit you, you were like you're shit. you were like a genius about it because like brought you in it wasn't a job that you were like I have an idea <laughs> we were like what if we tried to do this how would you do it and you're 
you approached it like, oh, well, if you're making a statue, like get the slab of marble in there, I think kind of, and you just did this bare amount of like, no, like, 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 like chiseling. It's not like, doesn't make me a good rapper. It's not like edited to the point of anything. I think you made some dishonest. good songs though. I think you made, I think, I think, uh, a lot of people that don't have any business rapping make albums, right? <laughs> But you actually rap all the time. And so like you have this like relationship to the craft of rapping. It's really uniquely interesting. And I think that like in everything that we did, we can kind of distill like, oh, this is the this is the painting you were painting. Right. And we kinda like this, you know, this is the joint. Yeah, this is an interesting process. Like 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 talking about like, whoa, well, what happened? so you got drunk in Maryland and you did this rap, but it like turned into like apologies to Denver, like I think is interesting because like you we it was a, it's just a recreation of a rap that happened in Denver. And it was like all we were, we were, all we were really doing is kind of reproducing it word for word, right? Like it wasn't like we did more with it; we just produced it. But in the moment, it was this odd thing. It was almost kind of like a weird, like more artistic than anything I would do if you if you let me think about it for any amount of time. I got drunk and started doing this rap in Denver, and I just kept saying, you know, we're like we're like, oh, it's about the apology. Like you keep saying he's sorry. <laughs> I keep because I'm rapping about pussies and and all this stuff, and I keep. But I'm I, I want to know like, more about what like, it means to fuck somebody's mama like it was not landing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was a show. It was a primetime soap in the uh, in the eighties. Uh, <laughs> I mean, well, if you if you know Dan Harmon rapping, we know that he he likes to uh, spend a lot of time with your mom while yeah. he's rapping. Uh, what else you got? Give us give us another track. Uh, I mean, you play we, your favorites. Okay, that puts you on the spot. But uh, I, I was prepared, so that's that's not a problem for me at all. Um, I am really into this Mark Marin. Is he's got a, a diss song? To Mark oh, Maron. Oh shit! Oh shit! You got a beef with Mark Maron? I'm really into this. But it's based on the one where Mark Maron was when we came back from the tour and we were at the Egyptian and Mark yeah. Maron was at the show and as he was coming up to the stage, I did like a Mark Maron rap right. kind of. Oh, so this is that. This or- is sort of like a yeah, we re- reproduced that. I don't know about any real beef. I just so this like is the from song. that show, The Egyptian, or it's a, it's a redo like you did later on. This is all studio. This is okay. a, this is, we did it in the studio, but we're yeah, it's gotcha. like a recreation okay. of the. Or a departure from? It's about to be the podcast beef of 2019. <laughs> Here we go. Dan Harmon got beef with Mark Merritt. Dan Harmon got beef with Mark Merritt. Dan Harmon got beef with Mark Merritt. Kind of on the nose. Beef. Mark Merritt. M A R O N. Fuck your mama's gonna do it again. Mark Merritt. When you interview comedy people, it's enlightening. Mark Merritt, why you staring at me? Is your mama rockin' Sharon? Gonna fuck her like Sharon Stone. I gave her soup, my bone. Then I financed her house with a loan. At the bottom of the market, she got robbed. Mark Merritt, does that make your weenie throb? Probably not unless you're incestuous. <clears throat> Mark Merritt, that probably crossed a line, but I don't care. Cause this is beef. <laughs> But it was still consensual. I call you out. I got beef with you. Mark Marin, why you staring at me? Is your mama rocking chair and take a knee? Whatever. Mark Marin. Mark Marin. Mark Marin, why you staring at me? Is your mama rocking Sharon? <laughs> I'm gonna fuck her like Sharon Stone. As a refrain, yo, Mark Merritt, <laughs> wine parent. Wine Should this red wine go with this fish? Should I put your mama's titties on a separate dish from each other? My brother, we got a beef. <laughs> My brother, Mark we got a beef. I want beef. Calling you out. Queef. Dan Harmon got beef with Mark Merritt. Dan Harmon got beef with Mark Merritt. Dan Harmon got beef with Mark Merritt. 
beef. <laughs> Mark Marin, why you staring at me? Mark Marin, toy sharing. Mark Marin, freeway Farron. Mike Marin, Mark Marin, forgot your name. Mark Marin, Dragon Laren, nerd. Mark Marin. <laughs> Remember Karen from ancient Greek mythology? Across the river of sticks, and now I'm crossing your mama with a boat made of dicks. M A R C is the way to spell Mark, not. Where's the K, bitch? Dan Harmon got beef with Mark Marin. Dan Harmon got beef with Mark I'm calling you out. Dan Harmon got beef with Mark Marin. Dan Harmon got beef with Mark Marin. Had Obama on his show. So? What number are you on iTunes? Who knows? They use an algorithm where everyone's new podcast is number one for a week. It tries to encourage people to be excited about free labor. <laughs> They managed to get a dig at capitalism in here, folks. Some dangerous shit. Yeah, man. <laughs> you crossed the river sticks on a boat made of dicks. Yeah. Inspired. And fucking inspired. All right. Well, I mean. I, I think it's time for some like some uh, freestyling. Like, yeah. you, you guys got to make some music together, right? I don't want you to play the thing that we, whatever came of the session where we did it, but I just wanted to mention the session that we did where, because uh, I kept talking about, I want to do one of these like emo oh, yeah. things. And, you, and you're like, look, man, are, are you just trying to do like a Yankovicky like thing, or do you want to like do it? Is that the, and I was like, well, it's, you know, I will, let's do it. And then <laughs> you have to get so high. And like I got really higher than so high, and I was like in the booth, and I remember all I remember. I swear to God, all I remember is you on the other side of the glass, and I was like, I was at this joint, and 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 I remember you pressing the button, going, Dan, what do you what do you want? And I was like, I want black people to like me. <laughs> Why? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hopefully with auto tune this will be yeah. good. I don't know. <laughs> that part didn't make the cut. Just, just, just know that we. It's not in the final version. I, I, I walked out of there and got into an Uber and was like, "What? what who am I?" The song's tight. I think this song's uh, dope. Uh, Wait, do you have that one? I have all of them. <laughs> <laughs> all right, put, play, play one more of your favorites, Mike, and then, uh, uh, then let's let's let's, uh, let's cut some new tracks. Then let's then let's then let's replenish the well. Yeah. Oh. You probably noticed that since your appearance on the show, I didn't exactly like get better. <laughs> like I had a br I mean, it was like it was like it was like you know like a gymnast coach coming out and like yeah. no you got to do this and that and it was like Then we, I disappeared. So you kept you went yeah, back to Yeah, then your I old just habits. went back to my I mama fucking. You did. <laughs> um I'm going to play one of my You haven't heard this one yet. Um it's called Smooth Jazz. I really like this Smooth song. Smooth Jazz. I fucking love this shit so much. Okay. So it's all the, it's all the Harmontown tracks like that, that I've was, I don't even know if this was one. I think this may have been just a straight studio original. Oh, was right. that this? Yes. That's it. Yeah. Yes, you made a song over that. Right. Okay. Oh God, this is this is the best. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Oh shit. about fucking. It's about getting to know each other. Keep that pussy a rest. <laughs> fucking the mom doesn't have to go fast. It can be real smooth like jazz. No. Tonight, it's not about that. It's about getting to know you. What's your name? Smooth what do you jazz. mean I should already know your name? <laughs> okay. Your opinion. What's your shoe size? <laughs> All right, no, I don't have to know that. I'll check back with you later. <laughs> Damn, girl. You got a lot of hats. Were you in theater in high school? <laughs> Smooth jazz. 
Oh, damn. What do you pay for rent here? God damn. Are these real hardwood floors? What do I mean, real hardwood floors? Just want to take it easy. Smooth jazz, nothing creepy. It's a pretty nice place. Where's your roommate? That's cool. Smooth jazz. Can I grab one of these LaCroix? He's up for grabs. Oh, shit. All you got is coconut. <laughs> Nobody likes them. Curl up in front of the window. You should really get a fireplace. Nobody curls up in front of a window. Except maybe a cat. It's actually colder here. Less cozy. Just get a get a at least a just a space heater. God damn, bitch, get a job. Just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm not gonna go there. <laughs> Can I make you a Negroni? Sweet vermouth, gin, Campari. Slice of orange, but I don't have that. It's a good daytime drink. And ending up doing cocaine by the end of the day. Smooth jazz. <laughs> oh, shit. Hit your mama again. Hit me now on your new Cause you're smooth jazz to me. Where's the bathroom? Thank you. Step, 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 fully. Door sound. Close. Damn, let's see what this bitch has in her medicine cabinet. What the fuck? Antipsychotic pills. No! Smooth. Smooth jazz. I don't care. Everybody's crazy. I'm crazy for you. What the fuck did I want? A sane person to come home with me on the first night? Your vagina is fine with me. And I don't hold it to a standard that encourages vaginoplasty. Girl, I don't care if your pussy looks like gnarled scrambled eggs. Looks like chewing gum. So what? Because I'm not here to say what you should look like because look at me. I look like fucking Jim Belushi. I wish. I look like bag of dead fish. I'm a big, fat, hairy, gross piece of shit covered in pimples and zits. And there is a difference. And you don't want to know what it is. That's what I look like, naked. So, girl, you don't need to fake it for me. But you're my... Anyway. <laughs> wow. This is me realizing... Yeah. I should have let you hear that before. <laughs> <laughs> That was a real <laughs> toboggan ride into sadness. Uh, yeah. I mean, when you precede it by going, I love this one. I did. I'm okay. Because as we know from our work session, I just want black people to like me. So well, I, yeah, I, you you know. Know. you're like, this is my favorite. I'm like, you okay. You are one for 10 and million. And it sounds good. Sorry, I dehumanized you. It's okay. I, I still feel human through it all. <sighs> it, do, do you have the, uh, the technology to make a new one right now? Can we? Can we... I, mean, I got beats. Uh, so we can we can rap for sure. Yeah, I think we have to. I mean, clearly, I got the fire. <laughs> this is this may be the most fired up I've ever seen you. I, I I'm ready to cross the river Styx on a boat made of dicks. Yeah. And you, sir, are in luck. <laughs> uh, Dan's warming up. He's loosening up his uh, his whatever he's wearing. Is it a hoodie? What do you got? Uh oh. Did some sexy happen over here? Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> uh, what am I doing? Dan's uh, harnesses Minecraft T-shirt power. Is that what it is, Minecraft? Oh yeah. Let's see. I did your beat, Mike? Yeah. Okay, I'm not gonna fuck any mamas. Yeah, right. Should we, should we have an objective or? Okay. Uh, Objectives are good. 
What do we want to? We want to solve racism. So we want to do. We said it earlier. Yeah. Well, it's MLK Day. Yeah. yeah. That's not why you have me here today, is it? Because oh, it's God. MLK Day. Yeah. No, you, you you ran into Jeff at the drawing room and. Yeah, that's boom. true. Yeah, that's true. Uh, yeah. Mike, your bandaid's coming off your face. Shit. Bandaid on your face. Yes. Here with open mic, gonna solve race. Ism. Race needs to be solved. Racism also needs to be solved. <laughs> if you solve race, you solve racism. If you just mix everyone's jism, there won't be race, so we can't be racist, but you can't have a band without a bassist. You can't have uh, grapes without raisins. You can't have cranberry without craisins. And then racists like to separate people by the colors of their faces. They'd be mad if one person had straight tooth and there was another person wearing braces. They'd be like, this is not amazing because I hate this because I'm a, I say things that are hateful. Every hateful person wants to be better. Everybody wishes they were born in a sweater. Then they would never be cold. They wouldn't need pants. Every racist has a hypocritical dance. The hypocritical dance and a stance that they wear, but I'm happy because I also like pants or sweaters, yes. That's what I was born in. If I didn't wear a sweater, I'd be like transforming into something warm then. Mm, because evolving. I would feel left alone like a fucking orphan if I didn't have more skin. But that's like a penis with the foreskin or something. Yeah. Circumcision comes with a decision, but everything else comes from derision. I don't know what that means, but when you let your mind go, you start to wrap jelly beans. And then little kids start to scream because circumcision is a terrible scene, but that's just a parent's decision usually informed by some Judeo-Christian religion. Yo, did, didn't the tortoise put the hair in his place? And isn't the whole Aesop myth that the slow and steady wins the race? You gotta, you gotta take it slow. You don't have to be the top of the heap, right? You know, like, you don't have to be like, like, it's me against you. Like, it could be us together, and we can be two. Right? Not white. Right doesn't make white, and white doesn't make might. And might might just be shit, and the English call it shite. If I ruled the world, ha, 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 yeah. I love, love the ladies. Ladies. I run ladies and I'm rapping for the 80s. Just like my kid, cause I don't like a Mercedes. I rap and I'm not a baby. I say it lately. And I like yes or no. I don't fuck with Still no babies. babies. Yeah. yeah. Cujo had rabies. Foaming at the mouth and he didn't have labia. Uh, he had a dog penis. Yeah. Uh, lipstick in a sheath of fur. She the fur. Uh, that was like a wolf or a dog pretending to be a bear to a female dog. He was deceiving her. Oh shit. Yeah. And then it will be a blur in my memory. I'm cold as December be. Intricately, I rap and do my rhymes all the time. Rawest rhyme. It's never overcooked or overlooked. I forgot the fucking sentence or the direction that we were going in. So I'm flowing like oceans then. This way underground, I bring the thunder down like Zeus do too. Beautiful, bite your nails, to your cuticles. Take the medicine, the shit is chewable, fruitful. Mission split just like decisions. I'm ripping, it's freestyle shit that's never written yet. It's like in the sky with ribbons, but that's just Stevie Wonder. But that's that one song and I can come strong. I've never been seen dragon punch just like I'm Shang Long, ain't been in the ring long. I beat my chest like King Kong, big and Dan go back and forth with mics like it was ping pong. Yeah, oh. it's never seen so. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> like Shen Long. <laughs> no mamas got fucked in that song. Oh shit! Not one uh, mom. Yeah. Not. One mom. Zero mamas. Holy fucks. fucking shit. Fucking did it. 
God damn it. All right. Go with the flow. Go That's with the flow. That's fucking incredible. <laughs> All right. Going back Open and forth like it was ping pong. I love that. We're making history. God damn it. You, you, yeah, you, you did it, Mike. No, he did it. He didn't rap about fucking mothers. That's the most. Look. I heard him freestyle a lot. <laughs> a lot of moms got fucked. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. The, we, matter of fact, I think at one point we were like, this whole project has to be about him being somebody's stepfather. <laughs> because in that way, talking to you about how he's fucking your mother makes sense. <laughs> it's very okay. Freudian. I mean, it's literally Freudian. It is. Spencer, you got some freestyle on you tonight? I don't know. I guess. It, it doesn't sound like very much. <laughs> I, I would like to hear just a like a very, you know, like just a Spencer freestyle. Like it th- doesn't have to be like Fast oh, and Furious. Again. Yeah, no, we'd all love that. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. I'd love to see that too. That sounds awesome. You know? Yeah. Now's yeah. your moment. <laughs> Mike's picking a beat. Okay, you ready now? Let's I'm do it. Right. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> Oh, eggs in the morning. Eggs in the morning. Scrambled or fried. How you want a motherfucker? You better decide. Yeah, right now. Eggs in the morning. There's people in line behind you, goddammit. Fry them in a pan, put them in a skillet. Yo. My stomach's empty, fill it. Yeah. yeah. Yo, Breakfast. Get eggs. I'm gonna kill it. Yeah. Breakfast. Ow. Oh. Eggs in the morning Coming from a chicken Yo, how they taste Mmm, delicious Finger licking Alright, my name is MC Chicken I got a beak and I've never lick it Cause I don't have a tongue And even if I did I don't think I'd know what I'd bid In an auction And I'm owned by the farming industry So my poop is part of my pee Cause a chicken butt is also a penis I don't have a penis Cause I'm a hen <sighs> Sorry to get Uh heteronormative non-binary MC chicken yo I'm neither rooster nor hen and I'm gonna tell it to you like I told you again I don't crow in the morning and I don't lay eggs and I make my own decision and I walk on my own legs I am autonomous I am neither of anything I do what I do and I have a song to sing but I'm a butcher and I want to sell chicken wings so Uh, that means there's things that we have to do with it before I wasn't mentioning that means that there are things that are brought about. You're my chicken upgrown you, but it's time for the slaughterhouse, so here we go. And I'm sorry to be a punk and to take a dump on your dreams, but there's a stump over there, and that's how I have to do. I've led you to this spot here to grab this knife and then behead you, because I have to sell this people shit that they're loving and turn your entire body into like nine nuggets, and that's just all we have. And yeah, you had dream stuff, but now your body and flesh is turning into pink stuff that I'm gonna deep fry, because I seem wild. And it's gonna sell you with a big fucking box of these fries. And you like those too, because that's what I feed you. Because farming is gross. But that's how we uh, freestyle and make it sound the most worse. (laughs) (laughs) Yo, chicken response. You're not blowing my mind. It's not your time to find the things that make me surprised. Like, uh, 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 that's my impression of you. My name is MC Non-Binary Chicken. I, I, I didn't even, I didn't even need your opinion. I, I already know you owe me, and you're gonna kill me. I'm trying to explain what happens to fulfill me before the sun comes up on the end of my life. You're telling me about particulars that have to do with your knife. I know you have needs. And you have labels and you have things, but I'm just telling you what makes me sing. I'm and I'm trying to tell you about these wings, okay? <laughs> that's the decision I've made because you're delicious, and, and that's how it goes. You have to follow me here because you are the key to my personal economy. I'm sorry it's pretty weird, and I don't want to have to beg, but I need your meat and your body and your eggs. Let's all rise up, and I peck you to death. Rise up to stop you till you draw your last breath. I'm MC 
see non-binary chicken. You pushed me so far, now it's time I'm kicking. I'm kicking down your door, coming in your house in the middle of the night, and I'm creeping like a mouse. Oh, and, I'm and you're all your putting tools. all these holes in my blouse. Ah, oh, you have the ah, sharpest ah, mouth. Ah, oh, I wasn't ah, pre prepared for this. Ah, oh, do do do. Kind of treatment from my roosters. It's white meat, dark meat, chicken thighs. I'm coming in for an Orwellian surprise. If you walk on hind legs, I'm, I'm my breakfast just. Uh, uh, hey, excuse me. Oh, my name sorry. is MC Neighbor. Would you guys keep it down? I'm trying to. Uh, I, I work in the morning. Oh, that was fun. No, that, that was fun. <laughs> uh, take that. Uh, Poultry farming industry and yeah. uh, 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 there was a transphobic. Uh, yeah, we like to get work done. Yeah, <laughs> doing heavy lifting. This is this so, uh, the 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 uh, yeah kind of a <laughs> vegan uh, a, ve a vegan trans anthem. Dan, a militant you, vegan you, trans you, anthem. You're getting very good at this, Dan. You're, 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 yeah. Nobody's manga fucked in that either, did they? No. Yeah. Is that fucking two? Still Freudian, though. Still like, you know, like yeah, well, okay. ro yeah, rose up. I, I Baby steps. It's, it's, the, it's the feeling that you don't have to like lock like everything down to like A, B, A, B, like, like, like these metrical things. You can just let a rhyme happen over time yes. like, th throughout the sentence. And that, that you have the freedom to, and now Dan's got the freedom to. You can I, find I, it. I, I now don't have the freedom to. You can't just announce that I have the freedom to. <laughs> Dan, Dan now is the freedom too. God himself couldn't stop you from being a, a better freestyle on this next one called Shit. All right. Not ready. Clear your head. Clear your head. Don't think throw. Don't think throw. <laughs> no, no, do, do the hook. Like, be... I want a lollipop. <laughs> yes, yes. I want, I want a lollipop. 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 Damn. What do you Yo. want? Yo, girl, sugar, sweet, come get a candy, a little treat. I don't like where this rap is going. I want a lollipop. Then have a lollipop. A lollipop. <laughs> Just take a lollipop. Have a literal lollipop. I don't want a, a metaphorical Give it lollipop. Give away free lollipops. Uh, the internet has created a situation where we're all satiated with nightmares about predation. We don't want to lend to a hysterical nation. Every time you think of sweets and kids, you think of predators wearing bibs with little pictures of your little boys and you, you, it ruins Christmas. I just Christmas. came here for a lollipop. Look, I got a lot of anxiety. I'm the only sugar shop in this whole damn city. Yeah, just take a free lollipop. I, I'm, I'm getting so accused. Thank you for the lollipop. Uh, look, hey, you can also have some uh, uh, nerds, uh, uh, some uh, turds. Uh, you can also have a, a, a licorice. I'm trying to leave with my lollipop. No. The doors lock from inside what? with a button that I press on the underside what? of my Matt Lauer counter, and I won't, can't let you leave until you pay your bill, and that's just I standard. Just, <laughs> just gotta make sure you pay. I'll take a credit card or cash. It's you the usual I way. Just I, 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 I used an expression when I said it just. It used to be a free lollipop. I gave I gave them to you, but exchanging of goods and services. Uh, behoove you. I just called my parents. I jammed your cell signal with my secret Candyman computer. It's in the basement made of pewter. I'm a steampunk predatory candy shop owner. I jam your cell signal with my pewter computer. I want a lollipop. And you're gonna have one. Well, but you're gonna... Got a lollipop. <laughs> <laughs>
Hey. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, no, no heroes in that story. I mean, I felt I the guy. I did hear the guy in the beginning. He wanted out. <laughs> <laughs> he yeah. wanted out of the narrative. Yes. He, uh, but then he got... He well, just, but did he? <laughs> it was kind of like Macbeth. It sort of like spends the first half of the play going like, oh, I'm not a murderer. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not controlled by witches. And then the forest comes to Dunson and he's like, lay on, Macduff. I want a lollipop. I'm going to be singing that the whole night. It's so catchy. <laughs> <laughs> I want a lollipop. <laughs> Oh, music is evil. <laughs> what's, what's the joke? Uh, there's a van walk, driving down the street, and there's a little boy, and the, the guy rolls the window down in the van. And Oh, Dan knows this one. The yeah. welder mask? No, no, not welder oh. it's, the, it's the candy one. Do you, and, you want some candy? He has a candy mask. Yeah, he's, he's got a bag. He says, hey, kid, if you get in the, uh, in the van, I'll give you a piece of candy. And the kid says, if you give me the whole bag, I'll suck your dick. <laughs> <laughs> I want a lollipop. Everyone's a winner in that story. Uh, tonight, 4chan's a winner. <laughs> oh, Jesus. They're, 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 4chan get the uncut version. Yeah. Jesus. Uh, let's make up for that. What's the opposite no, no, that, of what? That, that, what's that, the opposite of that? That one's a hit. Old people. I want to fuck old people. Well, no, I, yeah. <laughs> They'll love that. <laughs> Yo, Dan, who you want to fuck, young old, or old people? Old people. Who, Dan, who you want to fuck, young or old, old people? people. Yeah. Yo, Dan, who you going to fuck tonight? Old people. Yeah, tell me how you going to fuck them. Old, old people. people. Yo, the wrinkly, the better, the tighter, the sweater, the lower, the prices, the earlier, the bird specials. Yo. Oh, people. You need bifocals to check out this dick. Up close, it's more slick. Yeah. Come into your house to watch the stories. <laughs> oh, people. Guiding light. All my children, young and the restless, chilling. And then we'll curl up under the quilt you made. Oh, people. Oh, people. I'm stroking your thighs. <laughs> Open your eyes. <laughs> oh, shit. You're in a coma. <laughs> oh, you, God. you can't see me. You got glaucoma. Oh, Yo, yeah. tonight, you're going to be on top of me. I hope your shit is covered by AARP. Oh, people, the best in bed. You can't tell if they're about to be dead because you fucking old person. You don't know because sometimes they're blue and sometimes they just go and they, they have to pee all the time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, people. It's a, it's a, oh, people. A, I watch CBS. I watch CBS. I watch CBS. Yo. Prime time. <laughs> Yo, baby, I wanna, I wanna kiss you from your head, your shoulders, through your shoes. I wanna fuck you from behind while you're watching Fox News. I wanna, I wanna get up on that shit. I wanna, I, I don't even know where I'm gonna find your tit. It might be down below your knees or up behind your back. I wanna find you and get inside that crack. But everything is a crack when you got so many wrinkles. <laughs> Give oh, me some people. people. <laughs> Tell me about making baseballs out of balls of yarn and cork. Yo, yo, while you're going down to me, I want to ask you, where were you going down in World War II? Were you going down in the French Rebellion? Uh, uh, look, something smelling. Uh, old people smell like baby powder and poo, but that's okay. I'm cool with you. Uh, look, uh, I'm gonna fuck you from the floor to the rafter. I, I, I'm just gonna give you a, a hand bath after. <laughs> oh, people. Oh, people. I become you more and more every, every day, day. Every day, every day. I get closer to you in every organic way. 
Yo, girl, I like Yo. what Dan did. Don't talk to me unless you got grandkids. Yeah, I'm busting nuts, busting nuts, but a lot of them blank. About to turn the crank on your oxygen tank. Yeah, let's drop this. Come over here and get a piece of this wrinkly ass. My nuts are so low, they tell me when it's time to move the grass. I, my fucking balls are getting swingy and low. Yo, you can swing them to and fro. I can throw them over my shoulder and make a tie. I, 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 look, do you, you like my nutsack tie? <laughs> <laughs> Show me more plates that you ordered from the internet. Show me more plates that we can't eat off of yet. <laughs> Princess oh, Die, Davy Crockett. <laughs> That's good I, shit. I, I, the opposite worked. That was good. It was good. <laughs> he just veer right. Actually, what was the thing I saw where that somebody used the phrase gerontophile? They were like, oh, what? So, someone was a gerontophile in something I saw. What like, does that even mean? Thing. Well, like, it's a, you love gerontology, old shit? like oh. ger gerant, like people who are like viscerally and compulsively attracted to the elderly. Do 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 we therefore do we worship them as gods in in a world where we all agree, you know, where we're like, well, uh, pedophiles are the that's the that's the worst thing you could be. Like, do we therefore then are these are gerontophiles? I think it's, uh, it's should more we build a, statues to them? It's more of a standard deviation kind of thing. I think where if you're on either extreme, it's probably frowned upon. We just. <laughs> I think it's like, you know how, uh, it's like vultures where it's like, Ugh, but I mean, it's got to happen, right? It's like they're doing a service. I'm not going to do it. It looks horrible. They make a living off of it. Oh, they're, they're paid? Vultures. They have this, their whole shtick. They love it. They can't get enough. They circle. Their friends come. With friends called? Yeah, vultures. Vultures. Also, vultures Vultures solve a lot of crimes of missing bodies because oh. the, the police see, oh, there's some vultures over there. That's probably where the body is. Right. There. I thought that was in reference to some, like, uh, 80s vulture detective cartoon that I <laughs> forgot about. I was trying to remember it. My ass you doesn't... Let, my, I, uh, I uh, hit, hit a beat, hit a beat, Mike, hit a beat uh, right now. Dan, Dan explain what you're about I, to talk about. I wasn't, about, I wasn't you're, ready. I don't yeah. think it's gonna no, no, lend no, itself it's, to a rap. No, no, it's going to. Oh, no, I was just thinking it. about aging, and I was like, you know, what's the one thing that I really wish? You know, I can, I, I can cope with the bald spot and like, and even death. Like, I can't wait. Like, I, I, I can wait. I, am, I love waiting. That's what I mean. I like, lo I'm love playing Minecraft and waiting to die. But I, my aunt, I used Do to. Do you have, really like, play a lot of Minecraft? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. So does your kid. That's why you're, no, you're, my you're kid, going my like, kid, well, why aren't you My 40? kid played Minecraft for like one year. And he, he uses mods. Minecraft. But mod packs? You tell him to get those mod packs. We tried to do mods. He had it on Xbox where you couldn't do the mods. Yeah, right. that's, that's chump shit. And then, well, he was seven at the time. So he was a chump. I will, yeah, I will yeah that's he's a chump age. Chump. But then uh, we didn't. We couldn't figure out how to make the mods work, even if you did it like on a phone or whatever. We didn't know how. To, like you have to do it on a PC. Right. Is that how it's you hard? Work? Yeah, you gotta okay. get it on a PC, a real whip ass Dell and Spiron. Okay. And then you load it up with 180 mod packs, and say like you can make like computers and systems, and it's just just give me chaos and let me turn it into order, and then wow. die like a cyber Christ. Just put everything Cyber in order. Christ. Just like, just slowly like create this system where you just Do you like, ever stream you playing Minecraft? No, I no, can't stream it because the whole point is to hide. Like, Can I, I want to just, I was going to go watch you play Minecraft mm. one day. Yeah. No, because if you watch it, you'll just be like, what are you doing? I'll just go to You're your just house. Walking though, I'll just walk around. I'll just like, walk in circles for hours. You don't have to show, like, look just, just, just show me. For, you want, you, you, you. Just you, show me. Just for hours, you want to watch me No, like, not just, just for as long as I want to. Oh, okay. Well, I'll bring my laptop. Like, like, it's great. Do we have a guest next week? Maybe. <laughs> Matt, we'll, we'll rebook him. Do, what, what's that? Steve's back there. Well, if you're available next week, 
I'll I'll play Minecraft. You can watch until you cry, Uncle. Okay, I don't I don't want you to do it in front of the people if you don't want to. No, I I'll let them like because you'll I'll just it's I'll show just you my base. Guys. Like I'll okay. show you my current base. Like I have an elevator. It's kind of cool. I really want to see it. We can put like a like a, like a slow jam beat on it. And then we, and then you and I can just kind of freestyle across it, and Spencer, like when we can just like we can, yeah, we can we can narrate. Like, I make I make bases that are hidden from nobody. Is it? Yeah, because no one's there's literally nobody in the universe but me. But oh, I'm so, so bothered to disguise my base. You've as made a mountains. hideout, yeah, for no reason. So I fly up to it, and then the mountainside turns into a doorway. Holy shit! And then you go into it, and it's still, if you didn't know, you have to walk up to this wall, and then they're fucking like, I spent days making a piston powered like thing. It goes. And it, and it pops out, and there's a button, and you press it, and the elevator goes down. I want to see this real bad. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's so legit. satisfying. If I could have that in real life, like, nobody would ever have any trouble from me. All you got to do is be Batman. <laughs> if I could just go down to the center of the earth, and there would be, like, three giant things with lasers going into nothingness and spewing out into, a, a like, a, an electrical uh, matrix, like, uh, tons of ore that I that wasn't coming from anywhere that was being hurt, but I it was my job to categorize it and funnel it into systems that allowed my base to slowly expand. I just to, before I came here today, I made a room that makes concrete, and I'm like, that's that's the day that you make a room that makes concrete. I have a concrete factory. This is amazing. <laughs> So it's like awesome. sand and gravel come out of this thing, and then I took the sand and gravel and I funnel it into this thing, and as I make concrete powder, and then it goes into this like fluid transposer, and it makes the concrete. So then I'm like, now I have concrete. Okay, what's I up? don't even like Minecraft, but I've never been so turned on in my life. Yeah. <laughs> but that, but I, I I looked I I saw a thing that was like, oh, is there, what what is that um. Uh, that guy, there's like a guru guy who's like a, uh, he's like a to-do guru or something, and he has a system that's like uh, get things done or something like that. Is that it? There's like a... Larry the Cable Guy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get things done. <laughs> get, get er done. Uh, I don't know. It's a thing, but I saw, I saw his thing, and I was like, oh, shit, that's me playing Minecraft. It was like this thing where he's like, it, he sells this kind of principle where he's like... Uh, you, you take chaos and you, you, you go through this process where you, you just take everything. It's all about actually licensing yourself to live life, uh, unless you're like me. Where you, but but, but like, like where if you felt like you could walk around and anything that happened to you was therefore valuable, like I think that's what hoarders are hmm. thinking, where they're like, they're actually like, I can, I, when I watch hoarders, I'm like, I'm so close to, like I could see that because it's like, you just like imagine where you were so free that every piece of garbage you saw was valuable. And then you'd be like, let me grab that. And then like, I'll save it for later. But there's like a kink in the system where they're not able to uh, just put it into a thing where there could be boxes within boxes. And you could just like go like, oh, this is my whole life. Every, every moment that I'm experiencing, I'm in charge of it. So then anyone that comes up to you and goes like, can I have a dollar? You're like, I don't know. Can you? Instead of like, uh -huh. you know, like, like avoiding life where you're just like, oh, I'm going to go back to my laptop. And Sorry. I, I, I hit it by accident. Yeah, I don't, I don't. What do you think about that? Don't you think that's deliberate? I, 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 I mean, I'm here every week. I, I, but I, I, no, I, I certainly look. I, I, I feel like it's I, deliberate. I, I put my hand down on my iPad and it made it made a thing happen. So I think he gets jealous and then he like throws these weird. I, they're probably unconscious, but it's like he. Can I? Can I? Is there? Is there a room? Is there a space between deliberate but not jealous? <laughs> it's cause it's, I know. I, I just actually just put my hand down on the thing. Mm. All right, these kids have school in the morning. Thanks for coming to Harmon Town, everybody. <laughs> Let's give it up for our wonderful guests. Open mic, Eagle. Open mic. Wide open. Open mic. Open mic is the guest I like. He comes on with all of his equipment. Chris and and everybody, your game he master. He gets the whole yeah. rap shipment. Open mic to the T. I'm open Jeff mic. Davis here, Drink controller. Dan Harmon yeah. here, mayor. Open mic. Keep, you keep going. On a bike. Open mic. That's what I like. Open mic. Psych. Psych. Open mic. I got drunk. Open mic. Talked about birds and skunks. Open mic. It's time to go. Open mic. Old people. All right, Zach, you got a beat to put on, please? Thank you all for coming. Drive fast and take chances. We love you.
Did you get any of that? It's a good show!